In Auschwitz, you could smell the fear. You really could smell it. Auschwitz was hell. Auschwitz really was hell. My name is Lydia Tischler. I am 88 years old. Hitler in, marched into Czechoslovakia in March 1939. I was then 10 years old. And life was turned upside down. Mengele, whom you may have heard, was standing there and he looked at you and then sent you to the left or to the right. The left was the side for living and the right was the side for, for gas. I knew that our mother, because she didn't come to the left, she went to the right. But I, well, after the war, I had a sort of hope that maybe she was in some displaced persons camp, you know, that she wasn't dead, that somehow by a miracle she escaped. And you, you can know and not know at the same time, because if I had really believed she was alive, I would have gone to look for her. I never went to look for her because I, I knew she wasn't alive. People who had been there for some time told us, you know, you will go to the gas chambers. And so we sat there and I must say I sat there and didn't know whether it would be water or gas. It was water. I think it was 41 when the stars of David were introduced. All Jews had to wear it. This is a photo of me in my first year of school. There are about 38 children in this class and of whom six survived. They left me alive, but you know, whatever could be removed from my body, they removed from my body. They couldn't remove my soul. They could, my soul. They couldn't remove my integrity, my inner self that I managed to maintain. Best way to remember it would be if people could learn from this experience uh, so that it's not repeated. When things are so, so outside human experience, you really can't believe it. You need to deny because all of us have the capacity to be sadistic and horrible to other people. The potential for destructiveness is in all of us. <laughs> 